the routine comes from your fascination of the, the thing you're doing and the, the instrument you're playing that just takes you in the moment occupies your mind so much you're just here that is uh, i think very much worth uh, cultivating skill and time for welcome back to another talking video it's uh, truly amazing and great that you guys seem to enjoy these kind of videos as well uh, judging from the success of the previous one with the ama or ask me anything also from the posts, uh, all your guys' suggestions were amazing, what I should talk about. So here I am, super humble that you want to listen. Today's video will be about one question that really caught my eye because um, this is a question sort of that has come up many times in my life and I've always given different answers to them. But yeah, it would always change basically. And I think just the state I am in right now in life and what I would say to someone today would could potentially be beneficial for you who are listening here. So over to the questions so you actually understand what I'm talking about. Nui um, Haimene says, hi, like your videos. Thank you so much. I know there is no age to learn how to play an instrument. But if someone who never played instruments before wanted to learn, what are the advices you would give him regarding the choice of instruments, etc.? So I really like how uh, it's phrased and sort of the precautions they are taking uh, about the subject. There's two ways, or not two ways, but two categories I would use to answer this. One is the practical one, and one is the philosophical one, how to approach and learn something, according to me, of course. Um, the practical one is, first of all, just take an instrument that you enjoy, something you like to play, and that occupies your brain and doesn't force you, but sort of convinces you to be in the now all the time and don't think about the future or the past that actually makes you want to continue to fight for it. I'm not saying that everyone feels like this, but that's kind of the feeling at least I got for certain things that I did and got really into it. Um, so as I said, it's not a, you don't have to feel that exactly, but it's, it's kind of a helpful guidance to, you know, it's not about exactly what instrument, it's more about what you will like. This also ties into how I see learning should happen or what um, sort of etudes or you know, scale playing and more boring stuff that you don't want to do, but you should do to improve your skill. But those also has, you have to think in the long game for those because yes, they're helpful, but if you stop playing them and stop using your brain, then obviously uh, they're no help to you or you have to develop the discipline to handle them, but you are the best judge of that. Only you will know when you stop listening for real or stop using your brain in a way that will not make you progress. So with that said, pick the instruments that, that probably maybe is, you know, the easiest to get a hold of for you. Um, whatever that would be, may I, I, just an example, I can imagine that just guitar, um, Guitar is usually so common because it is so universal. Guitar is sort of happens to come by people easier. So maybe it would be guitar, uh, uh, maybe, or piano if you have one at home, then you're more limited to finding a piano. Um, if you choose to, if you have strings uh, to play string instrument, that's amazing. Um, I would just say maybe in that regard, to create the sound, that's the first hurdle that it's quite annoying to get over. Um, you know, I'm not saying that it's easier or harder with any of the instruments. It's kind of just like if you press down the key on a piano, you get the tone, right? Same with guitar, you pluck. You know, you have sort of the, the bridges where to put your fingers. So they have loads of other difficulties, obviously. But um, to even create the sound that you want to create, that's kind of a problem with the string instruments that you, you will need um, maybe a little bit of guidance uh, just to get you started with that. 
So it's important to have respect with that. And the same thing is with wind instruments. I think that's why wind and trumpet and horn and strings might be the less popular instruments picked because it is a little bit more limiting with to be self-taught there I think might be a little bit harder or like to, not self-taught but to get started there I feel it's like a little bit harder but it shouldn't affect well this is the hard thing I don't know your conditions but in a perfect world that shouldn't affect what you want to play but we have to be realistic of course at the same time <laughs> never buy a cheap pop filter <laughs> it just slides <laughs> It just slides down. Um, but yeah, also, like I'm just using these because I have to check that the audio is still functioning pretty well, but I can say that they seem to be uh, seem to be working well now. So where was I? Yeah, picking the instrument is important, right? But with all those um, aspects of it, I, I think it's worth considering. Or maybe drums is your thing. Maybe singing is your thing. Um, it's the more it's more important to compel yourself for what you will continue with. Basically, that's the short answer after all of that explanation. So on the philosophical bit that I also want to talk about is how we learn things and the importance, obviously, of um, capturing yourself in the moment with it but to also have the respect for it that you won't be good at it in the start you won't be perfect you won't do whatever you think you'll be able to create because there's always a reason why people don't do everything right because if everything was super easy uh you would uh, everyone would be doing it so you just have to dedicate your time and love for it and i, I think a good comparison in learning is like I, I never like comparing it music with sports, but in this regard, it's kind of helpful to sort of think of it like this way. When you started playing football, if everyone's kicked a ball, we've all been super bad at, you know, using our foot, hitting the ball, finding it, steering it. Always the learning curve of that in the starts. Why? I mean, you forget that you start already doing that when you're a kid, you know, when our brain is the most elastic or plastic or whatever you call it. Um, so don't have the highest expectations in the start and it's and be kind towards yourself because you won't it is super hard and that's why there's whole industries around this it's um teachers and you know not everyone can play everything um in that regard you just have to dig in uh fight for it long run it's about shaping your brain in the long run and doing a habit that will allow it to be shaped for whatever you want to do so just for example with myself if i don't play for a week or two the second week is pretty is not torturous is a bad word to say but since i've done this for such a long time and i know what i can do and just from pausing two weeks um, i lose a lot of finesse and skill and in that instrument uh, just from that pause so you should really now you have to make comment on the spilling you do who was i feeling that skill actually just from me doing it for such a long while that it disappears a little bit disappears quite easily so it just serves as an example we just have to keep on doing it because our brains sh changes every day and it's about keeping that routine going and fighting for it when it comes to when you should start so i don't know your age but same thing there it's just it's just considering the aspects of your life you can always start with anything anywhere. We can always make up excuses for ourselves why we can't do certain things. And But if you truly like it and you start dedicating time, um, you can. Of course, I understand if you're older and you have 
job and responsibilities, your time will be limited. And that is the hard thing. It's a much easier probably to be, a, it is easier to be a child because our brains are more, um, we're in such a learning phase then, uh, and you have much more time. So it is easier then, hands down, absolutely. But the rule still applies. You still have to go at it. So I've had several uh, older students uh, that go, either they want to turn pro or are amateur and, or kids that are amateur want to go pro or vice versa or whatever. There's another level that's added to a grown up, but it's never too late to start, um, especially if you just want to do it for fun. Uh, I'm, you know, people pick up sports when they're uh, older and I hear less the reasoning there of like, oh, I, I don't, I sort of don't hear the same way they talk about it. Like when I hear them talk about an instruments, maybe, maybe because music instruments do demand more time, but you can do it just a couple of days a week if you're older and just want to do it for that. Anyway, it's a tangent. You understand what I'm saying in a way. Um, finally, the routine, it's a very boring thing to say, but it comes, the routine comes from your fascination of the, the thing you're doing and the, the instrument you're playing that just takes you in the moment, occupies your mind so much, so you're just here. That is, uh, I think, very much worth uh, cultivating skill and time for. I think that answers everything. Hopefully, uh, please in the comments down below, tell me how you feel about the subject, what you believe, uh, what you can do. And obviously before you do that, just, just, you know, and I understand that everyone's life is different. We have s different starts and outcomes and obviously everyone won't have time for different things and stuff. But I hope this kind of just sheds a light of how I think about it and what's worth doing and how to do it in a way. Uh, so to summarize it, pick instruments that will be the easiest for you to get and that you like and whatever that will be. If you want to be a more original, take up more original instrument. If you just want to go sing, that is amazing. Your voice, you always carry an instrument in that way. Uh, don't be afraid of spending money on it to get lessons if you can. Uh, YouTube tutorial videos will only get used so far. There's such a different thing with a person there, you know, grabbing onto your arm and saying, okay, maybe you should change this. And you pay for the extremely personalized um, service that you that helps you much faster than someone doing a very broad explanation online. But obviously whatever gets you going in the start and then after that, you can start to decide how you wanna pursue it more. Have respect for it. Uh, see it like you would learn anything else. It takes years to learn certain skills in our life. And why shouldn't that apply to an instrument as well? It's kind of this, it's just such a foreign thing and that you have to sort of pick up. So yeah, I hope that applies to your question. Looking forward to do another one of these. Uh, as I said in the post, I will try to do more talking videos and in addition to my performance ones. And uh, yeah, thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to me perform and also for, again, talking. Leave that comment, leave that like maybe, subscribe, hit that bell and to enable all notifications and you'll get a notification when I drop a new video. If you, um, oh, special thank you to all my patrons, of course, as well. If you wanna become a patron, support this channel and sort of my musicianship or this community actually that we're creating and the audience that you guys are and just are being awesome. Uh, you can follow the link in the description as well. See you in the next video.